Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Shauna at Shauna's Dream Life. Today we're going to be doing a Mighty Dollar Haul. And if you watched my previous video with the Dollar Tree Haul, you guys know why I'm still dressed the same. I am recording these on the same day. Um, let's just jump right in because I'm really excited. The first thing that I found, <clears throat> excuse me, again, you know my allergies. Um, I found some sand, black sand and white sand. They have different colors. Um, they had pink, green, red, blue, purple, white, black, uh, orange. I think that's it. Uh, they have like a whole end cap full of sand. I am trying to do some stuff with some succulents and things like that and some different DIY projects around the house. So, that's why I picked these up. So, yeah. Looking forward to that. I was running low on thread. So, I picked these up. And this one comes with the lighter colors. The whites, the grays, the yellows, um, pink, some blue, some purple. And these come with the darker colors. And I don't really do a whole lot of sewing, so I like to have, like, just have some around the house. In case I need to hem something or I need to, you know, something gets ripped. And then just a 50-pack, 50, 50 silver eye needles. So I picked these up for the house. My daughter, some of you may or may not know, also loves to craft. Um, so I got her... A glue gun and some glue sticks of her own because she's always coming and mom where's your glue gun mom where's your glue gun so when I saw this at mighty dollar for a dollar I had to snatch it up so I did pick her up one and surprise a fact uh, or surprise fact excuse me I have had my glue gun now for probably 10 years and it came from the Dollar Tree. I paid a dollar for it and it's still going strong. Me and my daughter uses it. So I was like, these are some good glue guns, y'all. So I picked her up this and some glue sticks. That way she can leave my stuff alone. <laughs> um, the next thing is I picked up some of these crafting feathers. I got this one and this one, which is the same, and a green one. So I got these because I believe I mentioned in the previous video that I want to try to make a like a bohemian kind of dream catcher. So I got these for that. You can probably see all my Dollar Tree stuff over here. Um, I picked this up and it's got sunflowers and little ladybugs and it's just a little planter and I thought this was really, really sweet to go um, on my front porch on one of my little tables or something. Maybe put some succulents or something in there. So I got this. Um, I also got another planter and this one just looked like a flower to me so I really really liked that and I love this color it's just this one is just plastic but I thought this would be really cute in the house because I'm trying to like brighten my house up some um, for spring so I thought this would be really cute so I got this uh, the next thing that I got is this little sign to put on my front door and it says peace grows here and it's got the sunflowers and the bird and I just thought that was sweet so I got this and it matches some of the other stuff that I've been finding at the Dollar Tree uh, like the Sun and the moon and then I got um, a little plaque that looks kind of like a, a piece of 
wood that has been cut. So I thought this would go really cute with the kind of natural tones and stuff. Some hair ties because when I am cleaning, even a short, can you guys see how short my hair is? And in the back, it's really short because I got it cut into a bob. And it is at that awkward stage now where it is too long and it's always falling in my face. Or, but it's too short to put up in like a messy bun or in a pony. So, don't laugh. When I'm cleaning, what I do is I take my hair and I get as much as I can <laughs> up out of my face. And then I make this little... <laughs> You do what you got to do when you got to clean your house, right? <laughs> so I did pick up this. It came with a two-pack, but I've already taken one out because I was cleaning the other day. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> embarrassing. That's okay. I picked up this um, driftwood. I thought that it was really cute. And I, th I thought I could use this for, I don't know. I don't know. It was cute. <laughs> um, no, there's a lot of projects that I do that I am always looking for little pieces of driftwood or something to, um, to do, to decorate with. You could use this on a picture frame to make like a driftwood picture frame. Um, if you're doing a beachy theme, you can put it in with your potpourri. If you make your own potpourri, um, excuse me, you can, uh, I think I want to make it terrain. I know not to rain, terrain. Um, I do a lot of like landscape things and a lot of things for our D and D group. And I, I was like, this would be great to use as like terrain. You know, I don't know. I don't know how yet, but I'm gonna use it. Um, but yeah, just some driftwood. I got it at Mighty Dollar, so. They had a one box that I saw and it had it was full when I was there so hopefully I may go back and pick up another one actually just so that I have it because I've never seen it there before and I don't think I've ever seen it at the Dollar Tree either. Um the next thing that I picked up is I found this sticky note folio and it's really thin so you could actually put this Tape it down or glue it into your planner. And you have different size little sticky notes. And it says it has eight decorated sticky pads in five assorted size five assorted sizes. So I got that. I didn't see any other designs. Um, normally I don't really do a lot of floral. Although this year, this year does not seem to be that way. I, I don't know. My tastes are changing. My my aesthetics are changing this year. I'm finding myself leaning more towards um, sometimes the girlier things than I used to. But it's okay. I'm I, you know I'm still a tomboy at heart. So I got that. Um, the last thing that I got at Mighty Dollar is a pillow. Now, this pillow, some of you may like this pillow. You may. Um, I was not a big fan of this pillow. However, it was a dollar. And you can make pillowcases and make like your own pillows. So, I picked up one of these because I have been ordering... <clears throat> I've been ordering a lot of jewelry and like little design, like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, what's it called? Costume jewelry. That's what it's called. Costume jewelry from Wish. But then I started hearing like a lot of things about some of the, the things that they have and stuff. Um, so I wasn't really sure whether or not I was going to order from them again or not. Um, but they have pillowcases for a dollar. Of, like, your favorite TV shows, of different designs, things that are really cheap. Or you could just go to the store and buy some fabric. 
and sew around the pillow. But for a dollar, it's already sewn up. It's already got the batting in it. And I mean, the design's not ugly. It's just not me. <laughs> but I did get this. Um, and they had, when I went, they had two boxes of different, they had different designs. This one was the best one that I saw. But they did have different design pillows. So, if you guys want, you can check that out. Um, but yeah, a pillow. If you can find a pillow for a buck. And it's, it's actually very well stuffed. I was surprised. And I checked the stitching. The stitching isn't... I don't know if you guys can even see the stitching because of the camera that I'm using, but it's not great, but I mean, it's going to be covered up with a pillowcase, so who cares? So that is it for my Mighty Dollar Haul, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If there is anything, a particular haul that you guys would like to see or a craft that you guys would like me to tackle... Um, or even a planner video that you guys want me to do a plan, uh, plan with me about, um, just let me know down in the comments. I'm always up for new suggestions. Uh, sometimes I struggle to try to figure out what I'm going to do this week or what I'm going to do this day. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, leave those comments for me. I would be really, really happy to try to tackle that and get you guys the kind of content that you're looking for. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, please. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I really, really, really do. Um, come back and see me during my next video. 